Hey, Walter, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good I'm evening. Doing great. You're early today. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did how you are have... you, teacher? Good, good. Pretty busy day. How about you? Nice, a busy day, too. Hey, what do you do during the day, Walter? Um. So, uh, I, I mentioned it before, I quit my job uh, two, two years ago. Mm -hmm. But right now I'm doing a lot of things in my house, uh, on business with my wife, and try to support uh to my wife doing a lot of things. Okay. And what is your business? Yeah. What what is the business that uh, you have? my wife is cooking a, a typical food? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh well that's good. Food always but my, my work with, with her is Mm -hmm. is to support to go to the to the downtown downtown i don't know what happened hey you you froze for a moment yeah okay okay so you were saying that you practice or sorry, did you go downtown? Walter, can you hear me? Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How was your day? It, it was very good, teacher. Yeah. Today, today is my birthday, and I, I, I ate cake. Uh -huh. <laughs> I lived with my partner, my co-worker, mm -hmm. my school, and. I am too happy. <laughs> That's great. Congratulations. Happy yeah. birthday. Thank you, teacher. And I was mm -hmm. answering uh, the message. <laughs> That's wonderful. So tell me, um, how did you celebrate? Uh, Do you, are you going to celebrate this weekend or only today with the family? No, no, friends? no. This this weekend, the Saturday, Saturday, my uh, my niece mm -hmm. uh, will come to San Salvador from San Salvador, and here in my house, we're going to have a a dinner fire, you know. Okay. That's for my you, family. Uh huh. A, it's good. It's good to have time to, uh, you know, to go with your family and enjoy and yeah. have a nice time. Yes, thank you, teacher. Woo and all right. So let's see who else is here. We have Sandra and Carlos, Evelyn and Nicole. Wonderful. How was everybody's day today? Are we ready? Yes, I'm ready, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Mm -hmm. So am I. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Good evening. Okay. All right. So uh, I'm, I'm glad that everybody is here today. Today, we're going to be practicing a little bit more about the TOEFL. We're going to be finishing off the TOEFL reading activities. If you remember, 
that's where we were yesterday. We were we were finishing and making sure that we understood the different types of questions and the different forms for the TOEFL. Okay, so yeah. let's take a moment and review the four different types. Let me show my screen with you quickly. Okay, so in summary, we have four types. We have vocabulary, reference, a sentence simplification, and insert. Remember, there are more types of questions, but the four that we are practicing today are these. The vocabulary. Vocabulary is very good in the aspect that you don't have to read all of the paragraph. Only you have to go and try to find the best meaning for that word. If you know it, it's easy. If you don't know it, it's a little hard to get from the context because usually it's not going to be in there. You have to have an extensive vocabulary. The second part, reference questions. This one, yes. This one with reading one or two sentences, you can understand. If you read one or two sentences, it's easy for you to get the idea of what is the topic. Normally, they're going to give you pronouns or a specific word that you have to match or get an idea of what it is. Sentence simplification is take the same sentence and make it a, and find the sentence that is the same meaning, that it's saying the same thing. Okay. And finally, we have insert question. This one is obligation to read all of the text because you have to know where to locate that part of the sentence. And in only to locate it, you have to read. Now, when you read and insert questions, look for words that are similar or words that match the main sentence. That way you have a better idea or a better chance of putting it in the correct place. Any questions for this moment? Everything's clear, sir. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Anybody else? Walter? Hi. Time, uh, <laughs> <Hello>. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. I know you had a little bit of problem there, Walter. Yeah, I ha I, I had a, a, a warning in my computer about battery low, and suddenly my computer shut down. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it's very funny that you mentioned that. Is is bad for you, but. This is part of the problem of taking yeah. the test online. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because when you take the test online, when the test begins the time, that's it. The time begins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Pretty good. Now, let's take a look. Mm -hmm. All right. So today, as I was mentioning, um, Walter, did you have any questions before we begin? No, teacher. No? Thank you. Okay, great. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to practice the test that we have from our book. Okay, remember, this is the part where it is in the, we go to the platform and you're going to have some time. It is a lot of reading. So you have to take, it's reading test two. You have to take your time. Remember the technique. First, look for the questions. What are they asking for? Answer the first ones as fast as you can. Answer the ones that you know. Boom, 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 boom. And then you go back and take your time with the ones that are more difficult or the ones that you need to analyze or get with. Okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Remember, the TOEFL test is not about learning English. It's about applying. Applying what you know and applying the different techniques to try to get as many points as you can. Any questions before we begin? No, teacher. No? All right. Let me make sure that you can share sure. the screen in case you need to. Okay. Let's make some groups. There we go. And let me put the timer. Okay, let's go.
。そう。So it's necessary to read everything, right? I guess so. Okay. No, that is not the correct technique. Okay. Remember, before you read everything, look at the questions. Because yeah. if you don't know the questions, then it's difficult to, for you to remember or find, oh, this is the answer. This is the answer. Because you don't know what is the question. First, take your time, read the questions to see why you're going to use your time, how you're going to use your time in the reading and what you need to find. That, okay. is, that is the best way to get more points on the exam. Okay. Okay. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Nicole, do you read answers, please? Okay. Okay. I will share it. Okay. I will okay, share sir. it. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Here. Oh, my God. Ah. Oh, no. Okay, here it is. Prior listening section. No, 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 no. It isn't. Oh, here it is. Reading practice. Yes, practice yes. Test. Okay. Can you see the first, the first paragraph here? Can you see it? Uh, no, yet. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, mm -hmm. so, uh, you do you like to to read a little bit? Yes, if you want, you yeah. class. But. Uh... I was going to meet my roommate at the U. Hold a moment. I think I put it this one. Maybe you can select. Let me see. Oh. I don't know what is this. Function questions. Uh, let's see. No. no. I think it is. This question. Let me see. Yeah. Go. This um, one? Next? No. Next. Four. After yeah, all the four. Oh, um, after. after. after? Okay. Yeah. It should be after, I guess. This mm. is the mid term. I think it's before. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go back. Let me see. Oh, so you already did the the test? <laughs> yes. So it's easier if you just check, click Curso. <laughs> just okay. go to Curso. Let me see. Here? Uh, down? Yeah. There oh. you go, reading. This one? No, we are, oh. in, we are in section one, reading. This one? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Exactly. There I'm you go. sorry, teacher. <laughs> Good Practice evening. Test. I didn't see it. Sorry. There you go. Okay, and then this one. Practice test. Let me see. Uh, and this one? The last one. This one? There you go. Okay. Now, you can have a lot of reading, but you already completed. So it's better if someone else shared the screen, because if not, you're going to yeah, see pictures and you're not going to learn. Uh, um, yes, the thing is, teacher, that um, we are using cell phones, so yes, uh, just me <laughs> has a computer, just Irena can share mm -hmm. the screen. Okay, I got That's you. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, you try to do your best then, yeah. mm -hmm. okay, right. teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, can you read it? Uh, according to the passage, what is unusual about them? Oh, here is the you, uh, you have to read that. Uh -huh. yeah, all, according, all, all letters. According to the passage, what is unusual about this slime life cycle? 
Every A, they inhabit their own kingdom. B, the organism whose classification is ambiguous, they alternate between unicellular and multicellular structure. They are free living organisms. Okay. Uh, Yeah, yeah. I think the answer is the para in the first paragraph. Uh, I think it's for me, I think it's letter C. Letter C. Letter C. I, yeah, because. Uh, because it is, uh, the question says unusual. And I think it's similar to uh the yukin in yukiness, unikins. Uh, yeah. Uh, because it says which alternate between a feeding stage in which the organism is essentially unicellular and a reproductive stage in which the organism adopts a multicellular structure. Mm, yeah, I think let us see. In the next one. The uh, next time. Mm. According to the passage, what is the primary reason the cells need to combine into a single larger creature? Mm. Mm. But the first appearance is excited. The organism. Oh, I think I read that information here in the paragraph two. Uh -huh, okay. Listen that first. In the first. Yes. 
las credenciales para subir esas dos cosas. Mm. I think letter A. To move to find a new food resource. Yeah, I remember the word ingesting. Yeah. <laughs> Ajá, letter A, number four. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. how much time do we have? Uh, hey, um, 15 minutes. <laughs> okay, let's continue with the next one. Uh, I'll... Uh, look at the first square that indicates where the following sentence could, could be added to the passage. Starvation is searched when the population of cells is high in relation to the abundance of the food resource. Food rich environment. I think it's letter A because that, that just that part talk about starvation. In the other, it's just about reproduction. Letter five thing is letter A. Uh, the letter five is the letter A. No, the letter B. Five. Mm. In time, this cell for many string or cell. We then come together to form a single hemispherical mass. This mass stick together through the secretion of adhesion molecule. No, the oh. letter, the letter A. A. Aha, number five. At this point, the single cell. Yes, the letter A. Okay. Oh. And, and number six. Okay, the word entity in the passage is closely meaning to. Um, okay. Enta, 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 entity, entity. Uh, this is the unit, the letter D. It's, this is easy. Uh -huh. Entity. Entity is unit. I have a division, no, a species, no, a piece. Mm -mm. Okay. Letter D. And uh, the number seven, the word others in the passage refers to... Um, yes. During this period, period, the cells within the mass differentiate into two distinct kinds of cells. Uh, uh, this is easy. I think it's talking about cells, so I think it's the letter A. Yes, it's talking about cells. Yeah. It's the letter A. The vocabulary, the vocabulary is, is easy. It's the easy. question. <laughs> easy. Uh, letter A, uh, this one is uh, all the, the following. The, uh -huh. All the following are mentioned in the paragraph four as being part of the multicellular slope, except. Oh. Uh, ah, except this, this is in the uh -huh. level <laughs> model X. X Tough and model. the, the, the well, previous course, uh huh. Uh -huh. This is the past course. Uh, this around I, the... For me, this one not a little bit difficult, but <laughs> okay. Exact. Uh, the head, the stock, the sport. Mm. The structure is the stock. Uh huh. Main here mention is stock. The head mention. Aha, uh -huh, head, no. The head develops into a sport. 
question. So difficult to me to, to, to understand. Yes, the thing is that you need to like read the sentence and choose the letter where yeah. you think it logically fits. Yeah. Like when when we say starvation, we're talking about, you know, mm -hmm. diet of hunger, you know. So you think you need to look for something that is talking about starving or food yeah. or something related to it. Oh. Yeah. Okay. If you see, like in the first nine, uh, they're talking uh, about starved and food rich environment. That's is what I was text? Saying. I don't know. Letter B? No, it's not the correct letter B. It should be letter D, right? Yes. It's a unit. Entry is it's like an entity like a unit. One piece. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Number uh, seven. The word others in the possession refers to. Okay, let's see. Some become very sorry. Well, and others. They must be. In possession Oh, well, maybe um, they refer to cells. Or yes. Do you say cellular? To what? Cellular. To cells? Uh huh. Yes. Oh. It's correct. Layer eight. Number Stop. eight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All the following are men mentioned in paragraph. Four, as being parts of the multicellular sloops, except the head, the stalk, less or the spores. This is very easy. <laughs> mm -hmm. All of the following are mentioned in paragraph as being parts of the multicellular sloop, except which one it does. Uh, it's different. Yeah, we need to look for the one that doesn't show in there. The hell, the stock, um, the, hell, the stock, mm, legs, and a sport. Which one the is? New option, the letter, letter C? Yes. Yeah. Legs. Because there are legs, uh huh. They are not talking about multicellular <laughs> organisms. And the legs is multicellular. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Number nine. In paragraph four, why does the author refer to the fungus like organism as a fruiting body? Because it has become one entity, because. So... Or having the the hand is the letter B? No, I see. It's the letter A. It's final fruiting body is about, I don't know, but it says that the final fruiting body is about two millimeters. I don't know. Then the, the light sequel, I, I think it's the letter D because this is, then the light sequel is repeat because it has reached its reproduced state. Letter D. I think. Then the life cycle is repeat. Usually, usually the stock disappears once the spores have been released. Mm. The number. Yeah, because when a flowers or a plants um release the spores like it is for reproduction because they want to uh I don't know germinate I don't know what is the correct <laughs> word to use but when they they release the spores like it is is for reproduction purpose I guess uh yeah I think it's letter D the letter D uh huh. And the, the last one, ah. the letter. Ah. Do we have time? Ah. Letter D. <laughs> D. 
<laughs> because it has reached its reproductive stage. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And number 10, which of the sentence below best expresses the essential information in the highlight sentence? Incorrect choice, change the meaning in important ways or leave our essential information. Well. Mm -hmm. The head, well, yeah. In the Go scores, ahead. Judge are dispersed into the environment and form the next generation of Amoeba <laughs> cells. This expresses the social information. This this pair. Okay. Okay. Oh, see you. Next yeah, I can read. Okay. Oh, now continue. Choose the the because <laughs> hmm. it has been uh, the letter C. I don't know. I don't remember letter C. Um, no, no. Because it has reached its reproductive stage. Letter D. Letter D. B. Nineteen. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Number ten. Can we, can we continue <laughs> or one or not? Ah, okay. La revolución está la. Okay. Okay. Um, which of the sentences below best expresses the essential information in the highlighted sentence? Incorrect choices change the meaning in important ways or leave out essential information. Oh my god. Okay. So finished. The head balloons. Okay. Uh-huh. The highlight sentence in choices. Uh, ah, what that the information? Ah, the information don't change. So, uh -huh, doesn't change. Okay. The, the, change. Spread, the last are developed into a new generation of amoeba cells. For me, the letter D, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Letter D. Letter B, huh? D for me D I don't know. And yeah. um, for you, Carlos, is it B or D? D. D. And for you, Yancy? Letter D. Letter B. Hey, that's great. You guys did much better today. I see most groups were able to finish all the questions, uh, some with a little bit of time and some a little bit more time, but you are getting better at it. When you check the answers, did you find the all the answers were correct or did you have any mistakes? We have any mistakes. We didn't have time to to to, to return to double check. No problem. We're going to check together. That way, also you can correct in your platform in case you have a mistake. <coughs> you don't have to worry about it. Okay. Okay. In number one, does anybody have the answer? Yes. 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 Yes.
Anybody have an idea? Yes, letter B. Good, very nice. Good, number two, the word ingestion. Ingesting, sorry, the word ingesting means? Ingesting means? Consume. Consuming. Consuming, okay, good. Number two, number three. Um, letter C. Letter C. Good, very nice. Yes, you can double check with yours. Don't worry, we're going to have it, all of the answers in just a moment. Number four. Letter what is the reason? Letter, letter A. A. Letter A. Letter A. Mm -hmm. Good. Number five. Letter A. A. Letter 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 A. Number six. Letter D. E. Excellent. Letter D. Seven. The word. Letter, letter, letter A. 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 Okay. Good. Number eight. Letter C. Letter C. Letter C. Oh. Nice. Letter C. Number nine. Letter D. Okay. And the last one, what did you get? Letter, letter B. 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 Okay. B. Correct. Now, let's take a look. Make sure um, all of those seem to be correct. We double check. Excellent. Number 10, B. 9, D. 8, C. 7, A. 6, D. 5A, great. 4A, 3C, number 2D, and number 1B. Okay, so how did you feel about the time? Did you feel that the time was too short or you feel that it's getting better for you to manage the time? It's finished on time. Exactly on time, right? <laughs> Teacher, um, to be honest, it, it was because most of us were working around this this uh, section before at okay. home, and that is why it, it was easier for us to to finish, right? Uh, Wonderful. But not 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 everybody has done it, and that's okay. That's okay. That's how we get a little bit better. Now we're going to practice another one, and of course we're gonna have less time to do the next one and Oops. Uh, <laughs> and the good thing is that the next one nobody has done and i'm going to send it to you so don't worry i'm going to send you the next one we're going to have just a little bit less time so to make sure that you can complete it we're going to have several questions don't worry and you can <laughs> your partners here we go hang on Okay, check the chat. Make sure that you can open that you open the link. Remember, because if you don't copy or you don't open, when you go to the other group, it disappears. Okay, does everybody have the link? Yeah. Yes, yes, I have. Okay, perfect. So let's make new groups, practice again. Let's try it again.
Bane, are you having problems? Bani, you're having problems connecting, right? Yes, but uh, I'm getting issues with my connection. Okay. Let me see if I send you to a different group. Maybe it can help you. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Did you receive the invitation? Bane, can you connect now or no?
Okay, it's correct. Yes. Okay, now number four. According to paragraph four, what is the problem with using renewable sources of power? A, they, no, they do not provide much energy. B, they often cause system failure and blackouts. C, they do not supply a continuous flow of energy. D, they can be used at off peak times. Maybe letter B. I would say it's letter C. They, they do not supply a continuous flow of energy. Yes, that's correct. Number okay. And letter C is correct. Okay. Hi, paragraph six. Uh, what can be inferred about cities? Be able to increase the amount of electricity delivered by per unit generated, leading the two potential reductions in fuel needs and carbon emissions. Moreover, the computer system will assist in reducing operational and maintenance costs. Operational mm. costs. <clears throat> Let's see. Which one? It's not a benefit. It's like it's not mentioned. Uh, we can reduce the electricity. Let me know when you need me to, to go up and down, okay? Okay. Uh -huh. uh, we can. No, it doesn't really. <laughs> I reduce the, the electricity bill. I don't think so. You can let them know how much energy each appliance is using. Wow. Uh, no, no, no. Let it be. <laughs> okay, let us see. Yes, it's correct. Let us see. There is also like more electricity general sense. Okay. Which okay, continue. continue. Which of the following is not a benefit of smart green technology to consumers and not it's except okay it can reduce according to the paragraph one yeah, uh, don't say it. we need to to read the paragraph number three okay let me it's your turn okay Smart grid technology offer benefit to the consumer too. They will be able to collect real time information on their energy use for each appliance. Variant tariff throughout the day will give customers the incentive to use of the appliance at time when supply greatly exceeds demand, leading to the grid reduction in bills. For example, they may use their washing machine at night. A smart meter can also be connected to the internet or telephone system, allowing customers to switch appliance on or uh, off remotely, remotely, remotely. Furthermore, if houses are fitted with the apparatus to generate their own power, appliance can be set to run directly for the one side power source and any excess can be sold to the grid. Where okay. Which of the following? According to paragraph four, what is the problem with using renewable source of power? They do not provide much energy. They often cause system failure and blackouts. They do not supply a continuous flow of energy. They can be used at off peak times. What is the problem with using renewable source of powers? They often cause system failure and blackouts. I think a letter B, but I'm not sure. I think 
know that it is B or C? I'm not sure. Okay, we'll try with letter B. No. C. Letter C. Yeah. Good, Andrea. Let's see. In paragraph C, what can be inferred about cities in the future? More people will be living in cities in the future than nowadays. People in the cities will be using cars and buses powered by electrical. Oh. Hey, Rodrigo, how did you feel? Okay, guys. How was that? A little bit more pressure, right? Yes, it is. Yes, and that's the idea. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Like one of the uh, classmates, I forgot someone said, it's not the same. Prepare before and then do the exercise. Then, oi, in this moment, doom, you have to do everything. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's not the same. And that's okay. why you have to prepare just like the exam. You have to prepare like the exam. You begin, you have to finish. Because if not, it's not real. Because if you read and then you analyze and then you return, you're not going to have all that time in the exam. You don't have the time to read. Uh, no, no, no. I continue the exam tomorrow. No. Mm -hmm. You have to oh. do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's great. That's why I sent you the link. So you have the opportunity. I know some people didn't have a chance to finish. The good thing is that in the exam, in this practice test, in the moment you are selecting, it gives you the answer. It tells you this is correct. This is not correct. And then that way you can analyze it later. Okay. Do you have any questions? It's everybody in the exam. In the real exam, no, uh, they don't give the the that is correct or is incorrect. No, no, no. They they tell you the score at the end. Okay. At, at when zero point zero is says for me. <laughs> <laughs> they tell you the score when you finish when not when you finish the exam, not even when you finish when they, finish the time when no no they tell you the score in the official document. Mm -hmm. you, have to, you have to wait many days and then you have to return to the testing center and get the document and okay. you have to present uh-huh now in meanwhile i will be suffering for the exactly <laughs> meanwhile you'll be waiting and waiting yeah. and waiting mm -hmm. okay excellent it's, it's very cruel hey, teacher, what was the, the, the last score you got in the, the, the TOEFL exam teacher the last score, I think, was 611. 611 was the last one. Oh, mm -hmm. my God. <laughs> Imagine. Six. Oh, my God. And what about us? <laughs> and, yeah. And that was in the, but I did the, the, the last one that I did was the, the um, Centro Cultural. In Centro Cultural, mm -hmm. the paper, the paper one in physical. This is oh. physical. Mm-hmm. But uh, the time is the same, a, this, like a fifty a, minutes. This is a, a a a a good score. Uh, in order to have, in order to have Escalafon, you need five hundred fifty one. Ah, okay. Oh. In order to graduate from the universities, you need five hundred. Ah, okay. Okay. So, and remember, also the score is different. Because yeah. if you take a, the TOEFL IBT, you're going mm -hmm. to have scored like 37, 42 is different. That each TOEFL, the type of TOEFL is going to give you a different score. So it's not the same. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And which one is the international one? Uh, the TOEFL IBT is the one that you can use for applying for international positions. Oh, good. If I want to work on the United States, I have to do the IBT. No, you have to do what they ask you because not every company asks you for the same exam. Mm, okay. oh. And right. which, which one is the basic teacher? That the one depends on the company. You have 
you have tofu, you have toic, you have IELTS, depending. Uh, about the TOEFL, for example, I can get the, the basic certification. Yes. What, what will do I have to take? Uh, if you take the basic certification, it's only three tests. It's only the reading, the listening, and the vocabulary. And that's it. Okay. There's, and there, there is no writing and there is no speaking. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the second one after the basic is the reading, the speaking, and writing and comprehension. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. And is that that is cost one hundred sixty dollars? That's <laughs> the one that costs approximately one hundred sixty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, and that's okay. going to make the difference between depend what you need because maybe you want you want to know how you are in everything but, yes but you don't need it so mm, i have, have to take it the the one that it can be useful for me for any any time maybe i don't know and you have to remember it, when you take the exam the exam is only good for two years mm -hmm. <laughs> yes you told so you told you're... us the last time i uh -huh. thought it was forever and ever in my life no, no, no. Uh huh. So if you are not going to use, it was a surprise for me because I thought it just once in a time. No, no, no. Uh huh. Okay. You have to continue and continue to take. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have to pay a lot of money. Yes, but depend on your job. Yes. Mm hmm. Yes. Uh huh. So don't worry. The important is continue practicing continue going for it mm -hmm. okay teacher thank you you're welcome remember the links that you have you can practice more you can practice more tests it's not only oh we finish the reading and we go to the listening next week yes mm -hmm. but if you want to practice the reading practice more the most important about the reading is you really really have to read extensively psychology science sociology because it's academic it's not oh what pupusas do you like what do you do on the weekend it's not like this it's wow. it, uh -huh. and May I, mm -hmm. I think it read uh, uh any book or any any paragraph or about any theme it makes you to increase your vocabulary and your knowing maybe because there are a lot of words that for example, we we don't use uh, commonly or or daily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you have to read things like uh, magazines, articles that are at a different level. Because if you only read the basic, oh, you are going to stay with the basic mm -hmm. vocabulary. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's true. It's just like Spanish, right? Mm -hmm. Or yeah. I know I know a lot of people that you ask. Uh, did you read Don Quixote? I know, no entiendo nada. Look, at it. And, and this is Spanish. Yeah, and yes. That, and I know many people nunca lo terminaron, nunca lo terminaron. Mm -hmm. They can't. It's too much vocabulary for them. It's too difficult. Now imagine in English, another language, and you have to do. It's it's a matter of you have to balance what you want to do and what you have to do. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, it is. Sir, that is why, sir, uh, it is difficult for me uh, to to answer those uh, those topics because, for example, uh, about sales that uh, a, a, a amoeba and something sales something like that. I, I don't know anything about. Yeah. You no, know? I have I haven't ever studied something like that because it's like biology, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, and, and and I and I am focused in languages only. <laughs> that is what it is difficult for me. It sometimes it's confusing the the topics. Exactly. Are the confusing the topics? Exactly. So it's a little bit about practicing and studying. But mm -hmm. we have the weekend. Relax if you mm -hmm. want. Use the link. Study more. Yeah. On Monday we're going to begin the new topic, which is listening. Okay. Okay, sir. All right, guys. Thank, Thank you so much for care. connecting. I see you on Monday. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Bye. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.